Today, I'll be introducing you to macros within Confluence. Now, simply put, macros allow you additional functionality. In order to take a look at them, we're going to, from our space here, go into edit mode. We're going to go ahead and click on this plus symbol. And we're going to go to view more to look at all of them. As you can see, there's a pretty big selection here. You can also look at them by category. Use them for formatting. Use from the Microsoft Office suite. Add images, etc. You can also use the search function up here. I'm going to go ahead and add a table right here on the bottom. Just like that, went ahead and added a table. Go ahead and take the column off here. Another way to access your macros, once you remember the name of them, go ahead and just hit the forward slash on your keyboard, type in the name of the macro you want to use. Go ahead and add an issue directly from JIRA. Go ahead and also do the same for the date. There's a date macro. Use today's date. And when you're done with all your macros, make sure you publish to save the changes. And that was just a quick introduction to macros in Confluence.